What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we have a Leopold Eisler who has moved rapidly to help protect Paris from this small Spanish force that's attempting to attack our capital. So let's destroy them. They've only got one gun and we've got five units of cavalry so I'm very very much hoping we can destroy as many units as possible. Um, because my master plan is to take Santo Domingo Santo Domingo? Hispaniola in the Americas and try and see if we can get peace with Spain because of all of my enemies Spain is the one who's River battle A eh? Interesting Interesting. So let's put most of my troops on the... Well, to be honest, spread my troops out, because I am going to be a bit more aggressive than ordinary. See, see, in any other scenario, I'd be super chuffed, because we've got howitzers. But it is tempting. It's real tempting. So I let my artillery do as much damage as possible at range. Let my howitzers also do loads of damage. I mean, we would do as much damage as we could due to it being a bit more difficult to chase down and destroy the enemy. We can do it. I mean, lots of cavalry to do it. Although it looks, it looks entirely possible that they aren't going to cross. In which case then, we need to cross rapidly. So get one unit of guns to focus on the demi cannons, another unit to pick on another it's just some random unit, how it says pick on the first foot guards. And also want to get my general involved in the pursuit. So look at all this mighty with the shot carker shots overhead. Good hit. Uh, yeah, we're storming across the ford. Ideally, we would try and form a bit of a pocket like this and destroy them because then they wouldn't be able to flee. But that's that's in an ideal world and that doesn't always exist. But we will try. That's the demi cannon unit destroyed. You guys need to run as well across the bridge. That's true. That's my first look at the Grenadier Guards, who always look fabulous. And then my line infantry guards, who also look pretty awesome, actually. Yep, we're getting in real close. Ah. Run slightly at an angle. I didn't want them to hit my line and start engaging. I didn't want them to hit my line and start engage and start getting into a bit of a melee combat. Deploy some of the cavalry in to attack that unit of line infantry because they could interfere with our 
dastardly plans. Get my general over here as well. We'll position him there. Spread the cavalry out. The artillery does need to focus on these on the pikeman units specifically. We'll get a hussar unit over here because they like to try and retreat through the gaps. Present fire. Put these two units here to cover that gap. Keep a unit down there. Do you see what I mean? They're running for the the gap. Excellent. We may even be able to close it even better if we spread our lines very thin to get my okay there we go so you can start to see oh guerrilla mercenaries get my cuirassier over here to get them you guys mop up the demi cannons feasibly i could bulk these okay you guys go after the Okay, looks like they are going to go for this gap. So let's start to shore up this edge here. Yep, that's where they're going. Although it looks like they don't really want to go. Well, they're going to try. make sure you guys don't I mean they did deploy stakes yeah they did but not in a position that'll help them let's get my other cavalry unit over here ironic really it's to me my militia that gets some good kills but yes ultimately it looks like we might be able to completely destroy damn right we're going to continue these guys can't work out where they want to route. Spread out as close as you can. There we go. Kill as many of them as you can. Because they can't actually escape. Okay, let's get. Oh, that's a line infantry unit, don't worry about that. Cease fire the guns, because they're doing a lot of friendly fire damage. To be honest, now my cavalry are in the mix. All of you except my cavalry, ceasefire. Just let my cavalry clear him out. Well, it's ironic, really, because they're actually retreating in a bit of a weird manner. Probably not going to get them all. You got them. Yeah, go get those get those grenadiers for no I'm sure. Two grenadiers. I'm 
Western, Western European mercenaries. You guys go hit the marines. Well, that's a couple of units just completely obliterated. No, they're going to escape. Some of them are, but god damn, only about seven guys. That was really conclusive. Fifteen men. Down you go. So you men are in quite a good position to replenish and then advance towards this force here. Which, there's a lot of place they could go. They're probably not going to go for my capital now. Um, but what I want to try and do is take Santo Domingo. Take the city and then see if we can get a temporary peace with Spain. Because then we can start to focus on hoovering up some of the other colonies rather than aggroing Spain too much. Such as the British ones. So my weakest units just stay back. My militia brigade are going to advance strongly on that flank. My infantry brigade is going to push up around the other side of the town. Pardon me. My guns are going to be over here, providing long range fire support. run them in actually because look they've not really got much strength they might have some hidden native units as well but in the grand scheme of things they are mighty peaky so Lanvin militia bayonet charge the 27th new men bayonet charge the native warrior auxiliary they took a loss took a lot of losses on that initial charge Prove up my Dragoons ready to support that combat in case the native auxiliaries actually win. New men charge the Hessian line as well just to make sure that they do route. Oh yeah, more charge damage. Oh, real good volley into that Hessian line. Okay, you guys advance. You guys shattered. Make sure they're shattered. Buccaneers are getting into position. Ready to fire pistol shots. My mer Ultimately, it looks like we are just going to be able to swamp them. Well, I mean, it looked like that looked that way from the get-go. Where's my cavalry? They're shattered. Advance them up behind this unit of garrison militia. My artillery can engage that unit of militia. My line infantry charging into the enemy. My Freud Corps have taken a bit of damage. You men hit that Hessian line. You guys push up the flank here. My Wild Dragoons can hit that unit of Native Warrior Auxiliary. Yep, yeah, there we go. A whole lot of dead. Go after this unit of infantry as well, although they've insta-broken. You then charge the native warrior auxiliary as well, just to provide some support to your cavalry. So these men are going to push the flank. 
force them to abandon their position and I'll make my militia much more effective. Because right now my militia fire is stunted somewhat from them being behind this wall, providing a bit of cover and obviously because it's started raining. But once my infantry positions to the rear are formed, actually it looks like they're going to be pretty upset anyway. But the 27th Regiment, make ready. Oh, i got to reload first. We've got the 33rd, they're also here. Yeah, they're engaged with artillery. Nope, oh, there they go. Excellent. So that is the Spanish colony secured, and there's another army on the island, but what I want to try it and find out is are they open to peace? Because they're the only one of the only people that's actually unfriendly with us and doesn't directly hate us. So let's just try peace. Ha! <laughs> Now they're friendly with us, so let's cement our friendship with trade. To be honest, Mughal Empire, do you want to peace out? All right then, if you want to try and give me, you want to trade as well. Ultimately, uh, even though they've taken Copenhagen, it provides us no benefit to stay at war with them. It does provide some extra ships to guard extra ports. Here. Also, we are at war with Russia as well. Uh, okay, but first of all, I want to try and spend this money on... So upgrading the port to get our goods to market. That's probably also being impacted by roads, which is why we're upgrading that. Let's rebuild the magistrate. Let's upgrade basic roads. Oh, this territory is completely untapped. Get another trade port going. We don't need another military port because we've already got one. We don't need you to become a fishing port because there's only one town left to grow. What do we want? So what do we want? Well, don't worry yet, I think is the answer to that. Hop back over to Europe. Let's spend the rest of our cash on doing a bit more upgrading. Let's make sure our spies are up ahead. So you've got eyes on Vilnius, you got eyes on Riga. You're going to get eyes on... Probably over towards Minsk. It's only a matter of time before we are at war with Poland again. We're also at war with the Ottomans. Which I got a bit iffy about whether or not I was going to attack. In the end I decided against it. You men can also replenish. But yes, this piece of Spain is very powerful. Let's see if I can try and get peace with France. Okay, what about peace I offer you? Wedge formation. The more fire by rank, measuring tools, cadence marching. No, but I will give you utilitarianism, wedge formation, and longitude watch. Nope. Not giving you fire by rank, it probably does mean that they're going to attack me fairly soon. But if they do, they can't recruit many good armies in Turin. They can they can interrupt my trade in France. That's part of the reason why I want to expand my armies here. Also got your heavy cavalry need to move over to Paris. So I want to attack Great Britain. Because I can't be dealing with this. No sir. So we're up for 30,000 in income next turn. I want to boost that by increasing my production of commodities. Good. So in terms of tech, one more turn till we get reorganized procurement, then straight onto army board, which gets us elite Jaeger engineers, Phil Jaegers of fear, sharpshooters. Obviously, this is all subject to when technology allows us to use these things. Cool. Let's hit end turn. They've got a hell of a spy network. Ah, okay, so they've gone for Brussels. Let's just auto it, see how much free damage we get. 354, that's not very much. 
Aha! Britain is also going to counter-invade Cuba. Let's see what damage our sloop can do. Nothing. It actually got captured. I mean, the Royal Navy have just got a ludicrous amount of ships off our coast anyway. They weren't kidding, were they? Okay, so our colonies are immediately at risk. And it does upgrade Great Britain to be somewhat more of a strategic threat, which must be destroyed. So the army in Paris... Well, the army that's currently near Paris is going to siege Cologne. Well, they will attack Cologne. But then my, the army that's in Paris that's being built will probably immediately go into being an offensive army. Probably march to Brest and sail around and maybe hit Ireland? Ultimately, I've got a lot of cash. And I need to use it. And right now, I need troops. Russia's on the way. And they are welcome to be on the way. <clears throat> Go on, Sweden. Invade Russia from the north. It'd be interesting to see what Venice does, actually. Yep, so now I've made peace with the Mughals, they get access to their um, seas, which again, it could cause problems down the line. But in the meantime, the, the, the trade income it provides us will be very, very, very valuable. Yeah, pirates are going to pirate. So we're going to get somewhat less than... Oh no, we've got about 30,000. Well, Leopold Eisler put the territory... Put them under siege for now. Georg Guthman. You're going to get three 12 pounders, two howitzers, five units of artillery. Five. I want two skirmishes of some description, really. If I can get, like, infantry yet. Yeah, Pandora. And let's get a unit of like guard Trabata and take three turns, which is a bit of a bummer. But all my artillery will be here in one turn, which is pretty good. So you're currently under you're currently sieging Br oh not Brussels. Sorry, I was getting my getting my cities mixed up. Although I could deal do with knocking down these military governors' encampments and replacing them with civilian governments because we don't need military recruitment now. We need civil administration and increased tax harvesting. So let's go back over to the Americas. Don't try and protect this. Cancel building because they're going to be disrupted anyway transport my ships to safe harbor to santo domingo it's a bit frustrating but yeah let's run a militia unit out to port pay upgrade the governor's residence to be honest it's a bit it's a bit risky because we're not able to actually recruit proper infantry yet upgrade you to a tobacco plantation Sugar or coffee? Pro I mean, coffee's coffee is better, and it's also a good that we're not actually producing. So let's do that. Could fortify Santo Domingo, but it'll take four turns. Fleet destroyed. <laughs> Fleet indeed. Apart from that, let's roll out some road upgrades. Probably.
we don't necessarily need. Well, Royal Observatories are good, but they don't. Eight per turn to town wealth is actually pretty awesome because that's only three per turn to town wealth. Okay, in my head I was thinking, okay, is this useful while you're researching? Is this useful while you're post research? But actually, no. Just go for the Royal Observatory just to get that gain in town wealth. Great Coslin to a craft workshop. We've got our military tech, which we'll sort out soon. Great, this. You chaps. Replenish and come out and just beat all these guys. Just get rid of them. Not overly bothered about most of these guys. Probably want a smaller force like this to guard this crossing here, not a full army. Might even... Rudiger Speckbacker. You men can move to protect. Move to protect this area here from Polish raids. You men might even... Take a lot of turns, but actually you can get up to Cookshaven. So you men might be better off redeploying to attack and destroy Britain. It's probably going to be the better win, whereas you guys are probably just going to attack Brussels itself anyway to get this pustule dealt with sooner rather than later. So what we are going to see is if we once once we take Britain, all of her colonies will uh, fall into disrepair and be owned by pirates, and then be much more easy to gobble up. Deploy my guns on the high ground. How it's as lob carcass shot. All my infantry, no matter how depleted, gets pulled into the line. My militia. This unit of infantry can actually go to the right to bolster the forces in the town. All of my cavalry go wide with my general to push. Your cavalry is rubbish. Okay, let's retarget my howitzers into the line infantry. My gunners are doing good work. Scottish line infantry. Regiment of foot line infantry. Fine. The cavalry has withdrawn. Let's dispatch two units of horse guards to go intercept the enemy heavy infantry. You guys can't make up where you're charging, which is why you've now broken super easy. The guns are down. Blunderbuss shotgunners, irregulars. They're charging me at danger close, Irish volunteers. But they're getting mowed down by my musketry. Do you have fly by rank yet? You do. Interesting, good to know. Charge onwards into the Swiss Grenadiers, you guys withdraw, you guys should be cutting down those engineers pretty darn nicely. Get another unit of cuirassier to push the rear. One of these units can continue to destroy the enemy. 
Got a gun to hit that regiment of line. Got a gun to hit that regiment of line. Oh my god. Hit the Brunswick of Dragoons. A cuirassier hit the general's bodyguard. New men can still chase after the blunderbuss shotgunners. You guys are going to knock out the engineers. Okay, so let's take new guys and push. Line infantry push, militia push, maximum spread. I mean, this unit of hussars is a bit isolated because they're just stuck in the woods fighting hand to hand. We killed the enemy general, which is always nice. To be honest, we don't really need to kill anyone. The only unit we needed to kill was that unit of hussars. And yeah, the 29th and the 10th are broken in the centre. The Scottish line infantry is vulnerable because they've been outflanked. Keep advancing. You guys go get the 12th Regiment, you guys go after those unit of, that unit of Irregulars. So if you can knock out these Swiss Grenadiers, pretty ricky tick. General's Bodyguard. Chase down the 7th, you men are still engaging the 44th, let's give them some how it's a fire support. Scottish infantry has returned. One of you need to charge into the rear of the 43rd. And they're shattered. Let's bring you guys back over here. My artillery folks on the 11th. sure these fellows shatter. You men advance up onto the flank. Forty third holding on rather well. My cavalry ready to deploy. The Scottish infantry are down to less than half strength. They finally broke two. You men all go after the 43rd. You men. No, no. Oh, very well. Uh, may as well do a bit of mopping up because we've got not necessarily to kill units, but just to get more experience for our mounted troops. There we go. A little bit of extra experience. It'll help out when they or as they replenish. Nice. So all of you guys go after... Not the, well, to be honest, none of these units are very long for our world. These guys may be more than some because they've spread out. There's a unit over there that was completely unintercepted. Keep on attacking, they're probably going to escape because they've spread out rather well. Yeah, there's two guys down here, they're gonna make it. Yep. Now it's just up to my general. Lock out the seventh, and they're done. Nice. So 
That's Brussels recaptured. It means you guys can replenish and advance out of the city. New men can push over to here to bolster this garrison. You guys can send a cavalry unit forward to secure Antwerp just to make sure it doesn't get raided and so on. But still, that's going to be quite a nice force when that's done in three turns. Bit of a bummer. I might actually get a unit that's not going to take three turns to recruit. Maybe just a unit of grenadiers. Awesome. Uh, let's spend the money on... Actually, should I update, great update the farms here? Yeah. There we go. Help offset the food shortages and our research we got. Reorganized procurement. So, Vismar, you are going to switch over to... Coke Blast Furnace, most probably. Who's Britain at war with? Just us and the pirates. <laughs> and I can't give I can't give territory to the pirates. Keith Stibbert is coming though. Might as well recruit a bowman just to get something. <laughs> Okay, let's hit end turn. My spies are pushing on. Yeah, you've attacked Cuba. Ironically, with most a lot of cavalry. Let's see how many free kills we get. 420. Nice. So they're going to land and take Santo Domingo. That's not great. Especially as they have fire by rank. But it looks like our... They demand indefinite military access for advanced derogation. No. Hmm. I might have to trade away my territory. Because I don't think, with all that, with all that infantry they've got in that army, and they do have a lot of regular infantry, I've just got a lot of depleted militia. So I don't think it's going to be in my best interests to hold on to it. Which is a bit of a bummer, but... You know, they just completely stomped on our colonies as soon as we went over there. So maybe bringing that army back home might be better used destroying Britain and then going back out to take the colonies. Really, we should I should have um, sat in Cuba and used the military governor's barracks to build up a stronger army rather than trying to spread out too quickly. I think that's the end. That's the main lesson there. But it is a lesson that Britain will pay the penalty for because it just made me fo wants me it wants to make me focus more on destroying the British Empire. Because that'd secure our northern flank. And it would also then provide an incredibly valuable set of territories. Which we could almost exclusively use to focus on sending troops west. Sooner or later the Ottomans are going to become a much bigger problem. We do have the French also pushing from the south. So that second set of troops that's currently in Paris, there, well near Paris, they're going to garrison the city to hold on to it. If the Ottomans want to raid my territories, they're more than welcome. We do have that other army near Breslau that's going to be pushing to attack Britain. So if I've got two armies. We can take London. They've attacked Warsaw, so we're going to have to sally and destroy that Russian army. Lots of things to do. Mughal's Mysore. Venice is going to keep venicing. Okay, so I might want to try and 
cancel all my building in Santo Domingo to get all that money back. So there goes Cuba. Cancel. 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 Too bad we built that. And we also built the port. Yeah, you're all back up to strength, actually. So those guys might be in a lot more trouble than they were previously. Bring you guys back. Oh no, they intercepted us. Nuts. Alright then, let's do this, Bren. I'm suddenly going to start to go, why did I cancel all my building? And if I do, I do. So I'm going to use my line infantry in the centre. Try and wrap around the flanks with my militia as well as I can. Or... Form a defensive line and let them come to me. Doesn't matter what you do. It's all about... Okay, you guys try and run over here somewhere. Key question is, can we deploy our troops into the field quickly enough? They are advancing in on mass into this unit of this poor unit of militia, so my supporting armies might actually get some time. If I can get my guns up, I can blast them away with canister shot. But is it going to be the same old issue when my reinforcements are just going to take too long to get onto the field? They're just going to get stuck in their corner. Very much possibility. It takes an awful long time for these troops to get onto the field. Run my guns up. No, don't open up the unit card. Get my guns away. You guys keep running. We haven't lost any of our gun teams yet. And we are chewing up their colonial infantry or their colonial cavalry unit. There we go. Our guns have made it. They are chasing down that militia unit, but it's buying us time. You men jump on the light cavalry. I can, it means I can get my general out. No, I don't. I want to keep, keep him in. Excellent. Form my line. You men attack the colonial light cavalry. Oh, that's my militia. My militia general has fallen. Okay, let's set up our line. But yeah, that's a lot of troops. Line infantry is what we want. Put a volley in. Get my general over here. I don't really want to be throwing my general into so many combats, but we do need to. And they're only light cavalry. OK, 
Okay, right. Let's move this line, this militia unit over to this combat. Fill the gap with this infantry regiment. Not quite sure who you're shooting at. Just engage the enemy to our front. Okay, so spread out these men, spread out these men to the, on the flank here. General's bodyguard rear. Freikor line, push up. Actually engage the 33rd because they're the closest. Cavalry are charging. You men form square. Militia run over towards the square. Some marines coming in, which will be good. Get you guys out of square. You men in the marines form up. And the militia form up. If we can knock out the colonial light horse. Smack straight into the 39th Regiment. They did not like that one bit. Try and get my Vile Dragoons out on the left. Okay, you men, my militia pull back. They're my infantry. Do as much of the work as possible. Got another gun team, which would be good to get into the line. It's an enemy unit routed. Canister shot. Keep my militia behind my guns. There's fire support. You men, don't charge them. Let them skirmish with my militia for a while. Oh, that's a good hit. Then you men reload and fire. Blast the 38th. Don't necessarily want to fight you like that. You men blast the 28th. Get these militia up as reinforcements. My cavalry's pushing up. These guys are formed square. You guys get into the line. Now my cavalry charge them in the rear on that flank. You guys also get involved in this fight. Get my general around. You may just attack ground. Infantry is getting very upset. My gunners run. Commit my line infantry into this action. Get these guys to keep on running. To then hit their colonial line in the flank. Get my guns unlimbered, firing canister shot. Maybe get you guys to smash into. This cavalry to try and open it up. Open up that front. You men charge the enemy infantry in front of the guns too. Let's 
So at the very least, the uh, our front covering the troops coming in, bringing being brought into the field is still strong. One thing I do know is British infantry isn't actually that great in the great melee attack. So I need my gunners to try and mop up this left flank to try and free up more infantry. Where's my Val Dragoons? Actually no, keep attacking them first. There we go, we're seeing some collapse of British lines. Excellent, so my general, get out of here. You guys... No, general, get out of here. Excellent. So now you men form a big fat line and engage the enemy. My general can go around and attack the artillery team. Okay, you guys are just going to open up the gut. We don't really need to be super clever with a lot of what we're doing. The general is going to mop up their 12 pound a foot. The 35th regiment is still holding strong. Okay, let's try and surround that unit there. Actually, let's try get another unit down here to support the cavalry fighting against the buccaneers. Let's try to charge my general up there. If we have to get a new general, we do. Can you guys also come down here? Spread out my infantry. There's only one last remaining infantry unit. It's the 35th. Actually, no, keep attacking because they are wavering. Buccaneers, obviously, they have reasonably good attack, but they're also quite squidgy. General's bodyguard pursue. Dragoons pursue. Artillery switch to round shot, engage the general's bodyguard. they are the only unit left on the field. Everyone else has been wiped out. They're probably not going to be alive for very long. Yeah, form square. You guys cease fire. Enemy generals being killed. Get my militia to fall back. We're going to continue just because they will remain in the fight and even though we might only be killing buccaneers not all their line infantry we're still thinning out their ranks now you guys are going to escape all these guys over here they're going to escape too well, there's only one one man of the 38th regiment of foot you better run and tell them what happens to you, the slikes of you when you attack our territory. Okay, so I need to get back on rebuilding my government buildings. I want to try and get... Yes, that's right. You better run. You men replenish. See, not all of our troops even got in. Get some melee troops. Get back to rebuilding the government building keep blockading this port, but don't build anything yet. A lot of artillery for Georg Guzman. He 
It's better to get to Kirkshaven than to Rostock, because there's a chance I'm like intercepted by some scallywags. Yeah, the French are on their way. So Sigmund Peters. You also begin to build an army. Eh, let's get some fusiliers. Just start massing, so these territories here can get new government buildings. Got more troops recruited in Amsterdam, and actually they might join Mr. Peters as well. Save you recruiting two units of line infantry guards. Instead, you're going to get Hohenzollern Cruz... Uh, Curacier, unit of Curacier. Okay, good. So let's go back to Munich and get a army board. We should just get a royal palace as well. Um, elsewhere, obviously we have this army here, which is in pretty good shape. Need to go fend off the Russians. I think is that the first fight we'll we'll have done against the Russians. I think so. Two regulars, yeah, you're going to run all the way across Europe. It's part of the reason why I want my um, road building initiative is to make it as easy as possible for my, my troops to uh, transit my empire. But let's take the garrison of Warsaw and respond to this Russian attack. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Bavaria campaign. Cheers, everyone.